What's up everyone, it's your boy Eminem and we are back with another review for you. Today we will be reviewing the Ultimate Wrestling Ring Barricade Playset from Figures Toy Company. Shout out to Figures Toy Company for sending this out to us to photograph and to review. Um, so as you see, we got the basically the front of the box and the side of the box. So let's break this open and see what we're working with and get this bad boy put together. What's up everyone? It's your boy Eminem and we are back with another review for you. Today we... All right, we are back. So let me back up a little bit. Um, so basically these, this is the unboxing and this is basically everything that was in the box. So... Um, this is, first of all, I just want to say it's a very unique item, the way they design this. Now, we know other companies have made this in the past, uh, and now that's what I was actually thinking, like, okay, what is different about theirs versus the other companies? And basically, off the jump street, everything, look, at, hey, y'all, if you've seen my other videos, I'm back with my point again, um, so basically, instead of having the individual pieces, everything is the long slab, which I think may work better. Uh, I kind of, let me say this, based on your room, the room that you're working with. So, um, so everything is a long piece and the only individual pieces are the corners. So it's pretty much self-explanatory how everything goes so we got basically i think mm, let me get the instructions so i can get you out so according to instructions we have 15 straight pieces which are the, the pieces right here and then we got six angle pieces and then we got the clips that attach everything together now because i'm the type that actually like to uh kind of move my stuff around um i may not actually clip all these together because as you can see and i'll just show you the type of space i'm limited to uh, show you my so pretty much this is the size table that i'm working with so i don't attend on leaving it up but this will kind of give you all an idea of, because most people, most of us use a, I think this is a, uh, what is this? I forgot the size table. I don't, I want to say this is, yeah, look, look, let me get my tape measure. Hold on for a second. So this is a, this is, ooh. This is a six foot table. So pretty much most uh, photographers use a six foot table to work with. So this will kind of give you an idea on the amount of room that you should have when using this. And, you know, pretty much uh, how much area you accomplish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up. I'm not going to necessarily clip them together so that, like I said, I have no intentions of leaving it up as a permanent fixture, but just so you guys can get an idea of how this look sets up, set it up, uh, set up, and then, uh, I'm going to see, uh, try to fit the ring up in there. Again, I'm working with a limited amount of space, so this will give you a better idea of what you can, how you can do, how you can work around and that type of thing. But the pieces are all plastic. So everything is plastic. The clips are plastic and this is plastic. And it's kind of a, like a hard plastic also too. So um, very, that should make it very durable. So you two, let me go and set this up for you. And then I'll come back and we can discuss it. All right, YouTube, I am back. So before I proceeded to put the rest of this uh, together, 
couple of things I wanted to point out. Um, Cause you know, I like to do like a step-by-step -step or to kind of give you pointers as I'm putting it together. First thing is, so these little plastic clips, these right here. Okay. These are very durable, but be careful as you're putting them on because number one, we all know how plastic works. So when it's been sitting for a while, whatever, you gotta get flexibility. Have patience when you're putting this together because the clips work well, but you have to fit them into the little spots. So if they have sat in the cold or um, they've kind of just been sitting around. Now, don't go and do like we normally do. Go heat it up. That is not to like it's not that bad, but just take your time with them, because what will happen is. And I can already see this happening with a lot of people who are trying to force it or they get impatient. You end up breaking these clips because, again, and I'm going to try to do this up close. As you see, you get a, you, uh, you get a little movement, but it's enough that it fits up in there, but not where, oh, let me, you know, let me stretch it uh, because you'll break it. Now, the other thing is. Remember, I told you I'm not going to put everything together because, again, working with a limited amount of space. But one thing I did learn. These long panels do not stand up by themselves. So, you know how, like, basically you be like, oh, OK, well, I'm not going to put this piece. I'm going to just use these pieces. It won't work well. Uh, what you need to do is just attach one of these pieces to it. So no matter where you have your, uh, you decide to set up your arena. Now, if you're going to set up the whole thing, like make, make it complete in the way it's intended to be, don't worry about this. So what I'm about to tell you is just one clue, uh, or one tip, but it doesn't apply to you if you're going to, uh, set it up and leave it up. But tip number one, use one of the smaller pieces. And attach it to wherever you're going to have your long pieces. Once you do that, it'll stand wherever you want. All right, YouTube, I am back. So, um, pretty much made it the size that I need it for. Um, again, based off the tips that I gave you guys. So now, let me, let me show you something. When I get off this video, I'm going to actually make this a little bit wider. So what I did was, again, I'm working with a six foot table. And what I did was, which I also suggest uh, when you're putting this up that you do to save yourself some time, put your ring up and figure out what way you want to go. Because eventually, uh, when I first started this, I actually wanted to go this way. So where like basically I'm having the wrestlers walk in from this way. But because I'm working with a limited space, that doesn't make sense. Because remember, in order for these to stand up, pretty much your stabilizer, uh, and that's what I'll call it, is the corner. So those actually help stabilize the uh, long pieces. And like I said, if, if you see, if you look, I only have like one clip in each one of them. And this one, let me turn here. This one isn't even connected, which again, makes it good if you're trying to do like, you're trying to have them not come in and knock this over. So that's, that's why I was telling you, I said it's actually not pretty good ways of doing this in smart ways. So that's, that's the tip. That's my, my other tip for the day. Uh, so that's not connected. But I used the corner pieces to stabilize. So now what I actually ended up doing, and I'll show you. Uh, by doing that, pretty much I ended up making my route where we looking head on as though the that's this is where the wrestlers will be walking to the ring so if i bag back you could kind of see so now 
the, the remember the direction I was telling you at first. Now we're actually going straight in. So pretty much if you're looking at this from a fan perspective, the wrestlers will be walking this way. So that's what I'm saying. When you're putting this together, have an idea or kind of play it out in your head how you want to go. Now, for me, it's very easy for me to do quick shots with this. But for you guys that's doing like the fig feds and that type of thing, it may take you a lot more because you'll be like, wait, you know, if they're supposed to be, I guess, a shot where they're coming in or that type of thing, then that changes a lot, changes the perspective. Because remember, for me, all I have to do, if I'm just doing photos, not animation, I can take that ring out, turn this whole setup where it's facing to the left and have them walk in. So, or to the or turn it to the right, have them walk in, and pretty much I never had to add or take away anything. So, like I say, it gives you a lot of play in terms of uh, imagination, but you just, to save yourself some time, you just have to have an idea of how you want this to go about and pretty much how big you want. But as you can see, again, six foot table, and we got a whole barricade around the ring with a six walk in and pretty much I never had to add or take away anything. So like I say, it gives you a lot of play in terms of uh, imagination, but you just to save yourself some time, you just have to have an idea of how you want this to go about and pretty much how big you want but as you can see again six foot table and we got a whole barricade around the ring with a six foot table so no matter the room you're working with it'll work with anything and then look in the corner those are all the piece additional pieces that i did not use so a lot of flexibility a lot of flexibility uh and like I said, everything went together real easy. The clips, the clips come in and they come out very easy. So when you're pulling them out, just pull them, like separate them from the inside. So just to give you an example. Yeah, you see my thing fail because it wasn't attached. Uh, so just to give you an example, clips go in that way. So hopefully you can see that. Now, when you go and pull them out, I'm going to show you what it looked like from the back. Okay, okay let me put it in focus. Hold on. Okay. So that's the clip right there from the back. Now, when you try to take this apart, all you do is just pull it out. So you're going to try to kind of space it. And just pull it out that's what i'm saying as long as you don't force it don't force anything just take your time with it and it'll work for you um when you're putting the corner pieces together if you know where you're going to have your corner take a corner and a side piece corner and a side piece and attach that first don't try to attach the side piece with the corner already uh, attached to the rest of the set because you will you will get frustrated the reason i'm telling you that is because i just did that <laughs> so attach make it life simpler attach it to the corner piece first then go and set up your corner piece wherever you want it to go uh other than that that's pretty much uh the review of the ultimate ring uh ring barrier i would say this is a a, a, gr a good grab um very flexible very a lot of things that you can do with it um no matter your space you pretty much uh can set up the way you want because it's a hard plastic it'll definitely take a beating um and just be careful with the clips like i said don't force every, anything don't be hard on it you know just the same way that you work with uh uh, matter of fact, good example, if you have their cage, the same way you deal with the cage is the same way you do with this. 
because again we know with the clips they're plastic so take your time but other than that you know i hope this review has helped you guys go grab you one if you need a uh a, a, a barrier or you need some barrier pieces go grab you one figures toy company grab you one use code almjr save yourself 10 percent and stay tuned for you know we got some more reviews coming in the future so hopefully this has helped you guys and you guys stay blessed out there